Okay, so good morning, everybody, and once again, welcome back. And today we are on the day number 35. Yes, 35 or 34. Okay, you'll be here. So we were discussing about the client scripts, right? I just sent a uh, document on the WhatsApp group. I got it from some other group. Have a look on that. You will come to know a lot of things about the scripting part. Okay. So yesterday we started our discussion on the client script on change. Now we are going to be discussed on the next level or next point. Let me come back here and we'll start. Part. Chicken. We discussed yesterday that we have four different type of client scripts on submit on change on load and on sell edit yesterday yesterday we saw about the on change now we are going to be discuss about the on submit and rest to others as well tick well go here client script and this and we'll open this is now come back here. Again, a little overview. But I am trying to get a documentation for you so that you can learn these things at your side. Take a let's say LNG on submit table incident. Okay. UI action, I'm putting the desktop type on submit. And the function got changed now. We basically use on submit when we want to show some kind of a error message. Check okay. it's it's a different use case. Maybe you want to get some value, you want to set some value, you want to, what I can say, or calculate some values. But before this go in the database, okay. So if I come back here and see example here for the on submit, yeah, tick. Yeah. The good part is that it is a completely a simple class. But there is no parameter here. So now it's up to you what you want to do. Okay. And on submit and on load is almost similar. Okay. So now if I go back here, you can see here g underscore form dot. What you want to do is set value, get value, set value. Okay. Is ka set value karna hai, agency ka, short description ka, or I can set description, short underscore description. Dego ye benefit hota hai utilities ka. We call it as a SN utility utils. You are able to see this thing, right? The backend name. If you don't have a SN util activated or um, have extension in your browser, you will not able to see this thing. Then you have to be go to the table and get the things from there. But if you use the SN utils, you can get this information. So I'm setting this value. Short description. Or can I set the value? Set value. LNG world. Check. And G underscore form dot. Add. Info message. Short underscore description. I have to display that. 
and now save nothing else very simple very clear very easy to be do now let's go back here and reload this page i thought this this is the batch which is very tough for me to be handled now specifically in, in domain of this scripting so i am putting let's say i am putting hello offering i am putting 400k1 theek hai ab aap kahoge sir aap to short description set kar rahe right because i want this value to be set when i click on the submit again submit dekho oh incident let me sort this <clears throat> the value has been set we are not able to see that message because it was on submit as soon as we click on the submit that message displayed and it's gone kyunki on submit ke baad it work this particular button and then but if you see that this value has been changed here so sometimes we have to do the on submits like this as well i want to set some priority i want to set some urgency i want to set some assignment group kind of things so that can be doable in the on submit scripting if i see one example for this one here isme dekhte hain kuch example theek hai testing did you get this book by any chance from net or something so like we can see, see this this thing alert short description is like this i want to show the value of the short description so if we can declare the variable in that variable we can get this value and then by show alert we can show this value like this humne galti kya kari we just see add info message but i want to be get this value in some variable and then i can show that variable so by this way we can do this particular part there is a difference between add info add error and alert there is a difference so similar they have done even though we are discussing the on load but there is no change in on load or the on submit on load is like when you are getting the form loaded and on submit is when you want to submit a form then you are getting this message isme aur examples nahi hai karte bas ek to example let me see theek hai maybe they don't have this one theek hai so easy to do clear and nothing must to be worried on that particular part this is what the simple use case of the on submit clear everybody they go what i have what i know what i know but intention is there to tell that how to use this particular part find the use case that when this on submit should work maybe you can say are you sure you want to submit this record show alert message then on the okay proceed further cancel don't proceed further bring on the same page so that can be done on the on submit part now similar use case for the on load as well one thing remember that don't change the function here or type here like you can say on load kyunki usse na function mein change nahi hoga okay maybe i thought no 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 i need to be use on submit instead of on load mai isi ko change kar deta no i don't change it because this function is already same and defined now 
in these cases better to go and create a new script only. So now I'm going to create a on load. LNG on load. Table incident. Type on load. See again, simple, not with any of other parameters. And if you want, you can we can copy this as well. Let's say this thing. Let me copy this and paste here. What we're doing? We are just setting a alert message start of scripting. And we are creating a one variable. Under that, we are getting a value of the short description. Now, short description is blank. So, let's put save here and let's go and create a new incident. Look, <coughs> onload is here. Again, message. This is the reason of alert. When we did for the info or uh, this thing, that it displayed on the form level. Okay. Okay. That is the short description beforehand because it's empty as of now. The short description afterward is alerting issue. Means it's saying, boss, your short description has nothing. So I'm showing you this particular part. So if you want to show some error message like this, then you can show this way. See, so it, in, it is setting the value like this. Generally, we use the own load to show like, hello, Mr. User, welcome in this. Hello, your manager, welcome this. So we can use that particular part. The only thing is that you have to be use the right class here. G underscore form or G underscore user. Get full name, get all the things will be there. Okay, so this is what we can say like. G underscore user. Dot. First name. And then use the alert and use. And get this in a in a variable and get this value print out here. You can do it easily here. Generally, via onload, we set some values if required. Because setting up the values is not possible in the UI policies directly. So we set the values via this method only, via onload. Clear till this point, everybody. Doubt, question, clarification. See, yes or no? Yes, it's clear. Good. So do, do the practice. Now it's up to you that you can use a different classes to call, to get operations, and to this particular part. And I'm, I'm again saying go to developer.servicenow.com, which we discussed yesterday. You will get the actual practice use cases for the scripting in that particular Link. Take care. Now, the last part of the scripting is of client scripting is that on cell edit. Because if I come to this particular Excel sheet, yeah, but those are here. I can make a change in any of the sheet. Right? I can go here. Go here. Go here like this, but I don't want you guys to make a change in this particular cell. I want to restrict you, but they go up. You can use any any sheet. You can work on any sheet, but you can't change this particular cell particularly. 
The same thing is applicable in our service now as well. Now we are able to make a change from the form level, right? I have changed here, set value, get value, sub. But a user is intelligent nowadays. Everybody know. Okay, so like I go here. A user is trying to change the value from the list view. Which I don't want a user should change. I'm giving a use case. If you want to change the value of priority, you must change it only from the form view, not from the list view. Because if I'm changing the priority to P1, then I have to, I know that work notes are mandatory, which I can't bring it here. We can't make it mandatory on this particular part. This thing is doable via on cell edit. The fundamental of on cell edit is similar to the on change. Old value or new value of funda yapa. But little little bit difference also here. Let's come back here and create a new client script. LNG on cell table incident. Okay. And now if you see on cell, so I have to be give a specific field name. That on which field you want to receive it. I say, guys, you can't change the day field here. I have to fix it, right? You can't change the date date and day field here. Achha, so I have to receive it here. I say priority. And did you, if you see here, that the function got generated. Ye important is thoda sa. The only thing is that why I'm saying, let's say my user says, hey, um, Harshal, please make sure user should able to change the value of a short description. Okay. But I don't want users to be able to change the value of the short description from the list view. Ye baut baut hota hai. And this is a use case. Or let's say I say user should not be able to change the short description on my record. Okay. As a developer, what I will do? I'll go and create a client script and receive the short description. But I forget that I have to make the changes for the list view as well. Because in that case, we use this fundamental on cell edit. What it says, sys id, table, old value, new value, and callback. Five parameters. Let me come back here. This one. Sys ID, table, old value, new value, and callback. These two are the same, which we discussed earlier. Ki purana value kya hai, naya value kya hai. The difference is about these three. Sys ID, table, and callback. Because why Sys ID? Because system doesn't know what field it is. Priority hai kya hai. So to make a change, system will capture the sys ID of this particular field. And in the background, check the sys ID with this field. Ki jo mujhe bula hai, sys ID wahi hai kya? Ye sab backend working hai. So let's say I'm changing on this field. Description. What it will do? It will pick up the sys ID for this particular stuff. And then 
table. Society, all the society unique idea of the record being edited in an array. हो सकता है कि शायद आप देखो इस प्रॉब्लम क्या है इस इसमें हम ऑन सेलेड पे आई कैन मेक अ चेंज इन नंबर ऑफ रोज इन अ वन गो लाइक दिस शिफ्ट एंड डाउन एरो की ये देखो एंड इफ आई डबल क्लिक सेवन रो विल बी अपडेटेड हाउ दिस विल बी अपडेटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एरे एरे क्या है एरे टेक्स एवरीथिंग इन इन अ बंडल फॉर्मेट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नाउ इफ वी आर गोइंग ऑन अ ट्रे सो लाइक वी आर एरे दिस सेवन पीपल दिस सिक्स पीपल इन अ वन एरे डेफिनेटली प्रोग्रामिंग कंसेप्ट बट एरे वी स्टोर लाइक दिस वैल्यूज सो इन सब का सिस्टाइड स्टोर करना पड़ेगा उसको तभी अपडेट होगा नंबर वन पॉइंट Second, it's a table. How the system will know that I'm on the which table, with the table as a parameter, and I'm changing in the incident table. So it will take it. Then, what is the old value? Pehle kya thi? Why? Because if I'm saying no, you are not allow allowed to be changed. So I have to be reset the value to the old value only. Right, I'll, I'll show the example now. Wait, I'll, I'll show the example. New value. What is the new value is coming now? And call back. This is important. Call back says if if I let us scroll down here. If these changes get saved, let's say I go here. I say hello. अब यहां पे सेव बटन तो कोई नहीं है बिकॉज ऑन द फॉर्म लेवल वी है सेव सो हेयर दिस इज अ सेव फॉर मी तो वी कॉल बैक ये काम करता है मेरा अ कॉल बैक दैट थ्रो द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ फर्दर ऑन सेलेडेड स्क्रिप्ट और कमिट द चेंजेस मेड इफ नो फर्दर स्क्रिप्ट एग्जिस्ट वो कहता कि अगर इसके बाद कोई चेंजेस नहीं है तो जो भी हमने चेंज किया सब सेव कर लो and they're taking variable save and close as a true ki har bar ye to ho gayi hoga save and close to ho gayi hoga ya to cancel hoga ab dekho expire jao ya to save hoga ye cancel hoga in dono mein se koi ek to ho gayi hoga ab kai log kya kehte hain enter kar do sir enter bhi save hi mana jata hai yahan par theek aur call save and close कि जो कुछ भी इसके बीच में हो रहा है यहां से लेके यहां के बीच में जो भी हो रहा है उसको मैं मान रहा हूं कि हर बार मुझे सेव ही करना है अंटिल देर सम कंडीशन इन द स्क्रिप्ट विच से नो वी डोंट नीड टू बी सेव इट नाउ कमिट नहीं करना उसको जैसे आई डोंट वॉन्ट आई यूज शो डेबल टू चेंज द प्रायरिटी फ्रॉम द लिस्ट व्यू देन दिस विल नॉट सेव इसका मैं आपको एग्जाम्पल दिखाता हूं दैट विल बी क्लियर example we'll see testing client script yes yeah, script examples theek okay. hai and let's show you this particular part on change on submit and On cell edit, ये देखो ये रहा. What it's saying now? It is working on a on a on cell edit script, ठीक है? और उसमें वो क्या कर रहा है? Let me show you this picture. देखो, उसने impact के ऊपर code लिखा कि I don't want a user should change the value of the impact from the list view, क्योंकि impact के change होने से मेरा priority भी change होता है. That we know. Right, and what code you mention? It is here. मैं एक बार कॉपी करता हूँ, फिर आपको समझाता हूँ कि इसमें क्या लिखा हुआ है. ठीक. Let's come back here and change it to the impact and copy. 
इसने क्या लिखा इफ द न्यू वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पैक्ट इज इक्वल टू वन अगर आप उसको वन सेट कर रहे हैं देन आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू एर यू कॉन्ट सेट द वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पैक्ट एज वन फ्रॉम द लिस्ट व्यू एंड सेव और क्लोज को फॉल्स कर दो बाय डिफॉल्ट इट ट्रू है बट यहां पर फॉल्स कर दो इसको कि नहीं सेव नहीं करना उस केस में लेट मी शो यू नाउ सेव एंड रिलूट दिस लेट मी ब्रिंग द इम्पैक्ट ऑन द लिस्ट व्यू नाउ ठीक है बहुत सारे ना फील हो गए इसके सारे इम्पैक्ट कहां पहुंच गए ये बहुत नीचे अभी तो ये ठीक है चल अब ठीक है नाउ यू कैन सी हियर इम्पैक्ट देखो वट इज दिस इज इफ यू वांट टू चेंज द वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पैक्ट लेट्स से वन and i click on the save and close i am getting a message why because this part has been executed if the new value is 1 aur ye 1 kyun liya kyunki we are using the in the incident management we are using the impact is not high or low we are using 1 2 3 and 4 like this value so it is not allowed me to be changed so now you can see Impact is becoming थ्री again. वन नहीं किया उसे मैंने जबकि चेंज किया था एंड दिस बट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक अ चेंज इम्पैक्ट टू आपको एर नहीं आएगा बट क्या इसकी वजह से चेंज हुआ ये लेट मी रिफ्रेश देखो ये चेंज नहीं हुआ इसलिए वी एवॉइड दीज चेंजेस ऑन द लिस्ट व्यू ठीक है क्लियर हुआ ऑन सेल एडिट ऑन सेल एक्चुअली योर वॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग नहीं नहीं हर्षल नॉट एबल टू लिसन यू क्लियरली क्लियर ना हाँ बोलिए क्लियर गॉड clear okay good mac aap kuch puch rahe the so so on sell edit we we are just using for the use case of list view there is yes. no other use no kyunki baki kal to hamare paas hai na you can use on submit on load on change right and so can you please show me like how you are getting the value is 1 and uh kahan par ye wala that with a new new value is equal to 1 Yes. ये ना देखो ना ये अगर यस इफ आई ओपन दिस आई शो यू इफ यू रिमेम्बर दैट आई टोल्ड यू इन द बिगिनिंग व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड दिस फॉर्म लेवल डिस्कशंस दैट दीज वैल्यूज लाइक इंपैक्ट इज गेटिंग स्टोर्ड इन अ इंटीजर अच्छा भाई ठीक है यार देखो वो यहां से लेके आ रहा है ये रहा वन ये वाला वन नॉट ये वन ये वाला वन Why I am not using high, low, and medium? Because maybe tomorrow someone changes the spelling. But these values will be always fixed. So he has to check it. One, two, three, four. As he does, he will check it. This is what the benefit of storing. If you open, if you see this, show impact. See, it is an integer. Okay. So one more question. Yes, ah, go ahead. on parameters of on set there is also you had mentioned like table so what is the use of table we can yes table by default it's picking up the list view table this one wo system apne aap le raha hai ki main kaun se table par hu so can we also use the name of table somewhere because you can use can... 
if you want to pass that parameter, you can do. But but how you will do? If you do some glide record kind of things, then you can do it. But, but glide record, we are talking about the server level then. Yes, you're right. We're talking about the server level. But I guess we can we can use because glide record is not a server. Glide record to get the table name. Right, but we use glide record on server level scripting, right? No, 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 So, but why you want to be use glide record uh, or or the table name in this part? System no, says this, yes. Si, uh, system says that I can understand from where you are becoming. Iske se side se usko kam chal jayega. Acha to description description stored in the incident. Okay, I'm in the incident table. Chalo kam ho gaya mera. <coughs> that isn't. They are not passing any table. Value in that particular part. Yes, because we are working uh, on the field level, so I think there is no need right. to pass a tip. Yep. So mainly we use only new value, or we use old and new value comparison. Like if start date and the end date is same, then I can show a message. Sorry, it's not possible. You have to be given different end date. Start date is older than or the old um, this thing. Start sorry, I'm saying start date is this thing. The old start date is today's date, and the new start it is is a yesterday date. Sorry, it's not possible. The start date cannot be the back date. So you can do these comparison like this. Date comparison you can do and put in the value. Clear Mac. Yes, well, uh, for now, yes. Right. Definitely. See, again, if I'm a good coder, definitely I can help you in that particular part. The only thing is that once you do more practice, you will be able to understand this particular part more in the depth. Chikaji, clear away, everybody. Now let's go to the second part of this particular thing. Second part says about the server side scripting okay in the server side we have two things mainly ui actions and the business rule Check. first i will pick up the ui actions in this form let me save this In this form, you are able to see the buttons. ठीक है? ये सारे इन दोनों को छोड़ते हैं. ये UI action नहीं है. ये दोनों अलग ही हैं. सोचना है क्या है? अगर UI action नहीं है तो what is this? ये चारों और ये सारे और ये सारे और ये सारे और ये और ये 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 और ठीक है शुरू में दिस और these all are called UI action, user interface action. By clicking these buttons, the actual thing happen in the background. The data gets stored in the system or you call the data from the system as well. Right? This is what? is 
UI action. But now the question come, how this UI action get created? That is important. How I can get the UI action? And how these UI action get placed in this form? Now come back here. Again, I'm repeating my words. UI actions are purely server side scripting. Number two, it has no easy way to do. Go drag drop your drop down buttons. You have to be write the code. As it is server side scripting, so you can use a server side classes on this particular part. Click new. And then you will see a big list. Scroll up. Name. LNG. This is the internal name. Remember. Ye name, ye nahi hai jo aapna dikh ye wala ye. No, it is not like this. This is the internal name. On which table you want to show this button? Now I'm I will give you the homework. Find out on which table these button has been put it. Save, delete, submit, update. I have a hundred of tables in service now. Do you think that service now created a hundred of UI action with the same name on the different tables? Find out where this has been mentioned. Update, resolve, sorry, update, save, delete, and uh, submit. This button is stable. Mein hai? Come back here. I want to get on the incident table. Check. Order to display means in which order it should be displayed. That's the thing. This is what the action name LNG. Active, yes. Show insert, show update. Now, if I open this, can you guys see the update button on this form? Can you see the update button on this form? No. Yes or no? No, no. You? It's a new record. The update kya karenge? Perfectly fine. The same thing is applicable here. Do you want to show this button on insert or on update or both? Now save hai. Save will be work on the both side. Either it's insert recording. Oh, sorry, in, in certain new record or you're updating a record. It's totally up to you. Okay, now come this part. These sections will tell you that where you want to show this button. Form button, yes. I mean, you have to show this form. Pe. Context menu here is list me. Form link. Ye wale. Pa show karne ke liye. It is up to you where you want to be show. Okay. List banner button. May sub tick karo. You can do this untick and check where it will be displaying. Context menu list choices list link. Or you have a little style change karpa, just to be sure. When we travel, maybe via train, flight, bus, a special place hotel only called the exit. Right? With the very bold and red color. Agree with me? Yes or yes. no? Yes. Sir, why is red written in red? Why your seat numbers are not in the red? 
or the bold? Emergency exit action. Huh, but but why only why emergency exit is on the red color, not everything in the red color? Because it should it should uh, capture your uh, uh, that was there. Right. So, sorry, Abisha? Because intensity of red color is more so we attract to it's that color. Correct. And also, I know that this button should not be used here and there for the fun. This button is a special purpose, right? Now, you flight. आपने एक्सिट बटन पर क्लिक कर दिया तो क्या होगा? Definitely some problem statement will be there. So to make sure that nobody should do or use this unnecessary, I am putting the red color here. In the same manner, let's say I am getting a UI action and I want that the user should give a thought before it's click on this part. I am changing the form style. Primary destructive or unstyled. I am putting destructive to show the special meaning here. And now put it as a destructive here. Or let's say put as a unstyled here. Save. Mm -hmm. We did not write any code on this particular part. Let's come back here and reload. Deco. The button is there. This is LNG. LNG world. Why is this world? This problem is this. It should be LNG part. A complete word should be there. Or I did something wrong. It means. I think it is taking this only. LNGP karke dekhe isko. At least I should come to know that what is wrong. Hmm. So it is taking, sorry, my bad, it was taking this name for the user, and this is the backend name for your coding purpose. Okay, so now you notice that it's showing is the red color here. One. Yeah, for BR2. Now I refresh this page. In the meantime, you have to Come back and see. See, you have unstyled hai because we did not put any background for the same. Ye. Ye ra. Ye ra. Is I guess. Yeah, is many yata. If we scroll down, ye ra. Ye sari positioning. Up to you where you want to show. I don't want to show a lot of places. I don't want to show this button at a lot of places. Then we will untick this box. Few will untick and then my work will be done. Okay. Now, if you remember that in our book, we say that UI actions are the both client side as well. And the server side as, as well. Why? Because we can call this UI action in the client script as well. Tick, and then we can call them in the V2 or V3. Too technical, at least for me, not going in the deep, but just to be clarified that yes, UI actions are the both, and we can call them like this. Tick. Now, what is the meaning of the override? Override says, I already have a button 
बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू यूज दैट बटन आप बोलोगे सर हटा दो इसको यहां से हटा दो नहीं हटाएंगे तो प्रॉब्लम भी हो सकती है सो आई विल ओवर एड इट आई वॉन्ट टू ओवर राइड द सेव बटन विद माई न्यू बटन देन वी कैन क्लिक द ओवर राइड हेयर सो यू कैन सी नाउ यू विल सी एंड यू विल सरप्राइज सर तो बहुत सारे एक्सेप्ट बटन आ गए आई शो द एग्जाम्पल जो मैंने कहा था ना कि कहां से आता है ये देखो दीज मेनी सेव बटन वी हैव इन इन अवर सर्विस नाउ यू आई एक्शन you have to make sure that which button you want to be override matlab if i want to make sure that this save button should be only available on the incident management incident table and i am overriding only this button theek hai it isliye it is a best practice says always that whenever you decided to override make sure you override the right button क्योंकि इसमें से ढूंढना बहुत मुश्किल है कौन सा सेव बटन किस पर कौन सा टेबल पर बना हुआ है ना इफ यू गो एंड से रिजॉल्व तो फिर भी कब है सबमिट अब बताओ दीज आर द कॉम्प्लिकेटेड थिंग्स ठीक है नाउ कम बैक ऑन दिस अब ये तो बन गया ठीक है बटन तो बन गया बट इस बटन के क्लिक पे होना क्या चाहिए दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ठीक है या मैं कहूं हु कैन एक्सेस दिस बटन द बेस्ट पार्ट और योर होमवर्क इज दैट फॉर टुडे गो हेयर ओपन द यू आई एक्शन एंड सर्च फॉर इंसिडेंट ठीक है और यहां पे जाके ना इनकी कंडीशन पढ़ना एटलीस्ट जितना समझ में आए उतना तो पढ़ो क्रिएट रिक्वेस्ट देखो अगर मैं इसको ओपन करके दिखाऊं बट इट डूइंग Current dot incident state is not equal to global dot incident state dot closed. Means, I want this button should work okay, and Vishal and uh, Sunita. This button should work. Come here, Yara. Only and only if the state is. Closed because there's a no way like a UI policy we have a format so I have to mention everything on the condition only. That is reason it is I call this little complicated because यहाँ पर आपको सब लिखना पड़ेगा. On click sorry पहले इस condition को check करते हैं जैसे इस पे आते हैं ठीक है तो उन्होंने ये condition दी है कि ये button कब काम करेगा जब Incident का state is not closed and GS dot has rule. GS क्या था Glide system जो जिस user ने login किया उसका has the role of the ITL तब भी ये दिखेगा otherwise नहीं दिखेगा तभी a user can create a request from that incident otherwise no. Let me go back and show you some more. ठीक है लेट से क्रिएट चेंज रिक्वेस्ट ठीक है वी नो अब देखो इस पे जाओ ये रहा क्रिएट नॉर्मल चेंज स्टैंडर्ड चेंज ऑल द थिंग्स विल बी देयर ये सारे क्या है दीज ऑल द यू आई एक्शन बट दीज यू आई एक्शन विल ओनली वर्क इफ कंडीशन सेटिस्फाइड क्रिएट चेंज रिक्वेस्ट स्टैंडर्ड चेंज के लिए इसके ऊपर ऑन दिस यू आई एक्शन इज अ कोड हेज बिन रिटर्न क्या कोड है इफ यू कम बैक 
करंट डॉट स्टेट इज नॉट इक्वल टू इंसिडेंट स्टेट क्लोज पहली बात तो क्लोजिंग होना चाहिए वो नंबर वन एंड जी एस डॉट हैज मीन्स the user who is creating this must have a itl or sn change right and gs dot field exist incident rfc matlab ki iske andar agar aap ja ke dekhoge ye should be blank एंड करंट डॉट आर एफ सी डॉट नील की ये पहली बात तो एग्जिस्ट करना चाहिए फॉर्म पे और दूसरा ये नील होना चाहिए खाली होना चाहिए लेट से फिल दिस थिंग ठीक है एंड से अरे भाई ले ले से ठीक है नाउ विल गो बैक and right click are you getting option to create standard change nay why because this condition is already false to so user ne bola to so system bola i am not show this thing to you ye wahan se hota hai and then if this condition satisfy then we have to be write this code like this get table name unique value or a c value and put everything together in a, this place you actions mein ye sara kaam hame khud karna padta hai everything you have to be write a code everything kya samjhe Yes, मैं अमीशा ऋतुजा हर्षल अन्वेषा सुनीता अरे सही है सुनो यूआई yes, एक्शन uh, से जो वोडिंग uh, है uh, सेव के लिए mm -hmm. okay but uh, that is purely the server side uh... server side right all okay. server side okay uh, ui action can be on client and server both nahi nee. ui action is mainly a server side but you can call the ui action in the client scripts as well by this way is tick ko karne mein but there is a different way to call that out of my scope very clearly okay theek hai so what okay. i will recommend you now at least go and read the out of the box ui actions may be on incident table chain table problem table to see and specifically to see these conditions ki kya likha hua hai because these conditions is easy to understand dekho it's all about english right we can read about this english that how they mention what they mention here and then try to read a code as well ki kar kya raha ab aapko dekho now you guys know about the classes that's true you know about the classes you know about the script a little bit so you can read this code as well at least dekho usne bhai pura code likha has role this and management has role incident or this thing <laughs> ठीक है क्लियर बाकी लोग बोल नहीं रहे हैं हमेशा मैक ऋतुजा ठीक है आई नॉट प्रोसीड फर्दर नाउ बिकॉज दिस इज व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू देन गो टू दिस वन इंसिडेंट हमने देखा गो टू चेन टेबल नाउ क्रिएट आउटेज क्रिएट वर्कआउट ऐसा वो भी क्रिएट है देखो यहां पर ये है
go and see what they mention. Not equal to current dot is new record. Not equal to current is new record. Malagi, I'm able to create a outage not on the new record. At least this record must be saved at least once. Tab mein kaise karta outage create kaise karta? Usse pehle nahi kaise karta outage create. Then here do we see this particular point. At least copy the code from one button and. Put it on your button and see it is working fine or not. Utna bhi ho jaye, toh bhi humare liye kafi hai. ठीक है. Clear till this point. Yes. Good. Good. Any other question before I stop the recording for today? Let me stop recording here, guys.